Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow 363 bringing you another exhibition match stream. Starting off today, we're gonna have a match between Flipstep and Radavadra on Badlands. Radavadra starting in the northeast corner of the map as Shieldbots while going for Dirtbag right off the start. Given the current Dirtbag change, that's not surprising. Let's try out the melee attack and just see how they work out now. While Radavadra, on the other hand, doing the exact same thing. Well, okay, a couple Dirtbags into a couple Bandits. Wow. Radavadra has not stopped producing dirt bags. He really likes those dirt bags. So yeah, Flipstip, as you can kind of tell, quite a good player. <laughs> Pretty good player there. Well, Radavadra, on the other hand, we actually have seen a lot of him play recently. He's not bad, though 1500 LO, that, well, I'm not sure how much he actually does play, but yeah, that's, he's, we have seen him play many times before, and he's actually not bad. So, there it goes here. Anyway, Flipstip, does have a bit of an advantage, being that he does have a lot of non-dirtbag units. But to be fair, dirtbags are tougher than bandits, but they also don't have any range. So I, I think Radovetters are trying to basically headbutt everything to death in Flipstep's base. I'm not sure I really agree with that, but okay. Flipstep has found out where Radovetters is, and Radovetters does have a couple bandits, but very heavy dirtbag bandit, still no convict using his commander for all the construction and now well one band has gone down right about appears to be trying to pincer out Flipstep's bandits but it's not gonna work too well Flipstep's commander ride cannon so the dirtbags can't really approach too easily except maybe by using the corpses of their comrades but other than that no really not sure what right is trying to do here but that's well I guess he's trying to melee the factory to death that's what he's going for which is not gonna work out too well it's, it really, their headbutt is 20 damage. It doesn't do enough to bother doing anything. However, it does block out the factory, putting a very big dirt wall in front of the factory, which soon gets terraformed away, thus eliminating the problem and ultimately making Radavadra's attempt to do anything there completely moot. But Radavadra's still going for it, still pushing out dirt bags. I'm really surprised he hasn't just switched out of pure bandit. Very surprised he hasn't switched out of that. Well, Flipstep, on the other hand, has switched to Pure Bandit. No dirt bags for him, and he's just... He's just attacking directly with the bandits. This is not going to be well for Radavadra. There's really no easy way for him to get out of this. Especially seeing that he has just now gotten a Convict. Radavadra has gone behind economically, partly due to the lack of reclaim. I mean, he's... Not actually got fewer Medley Striders, but he does have less reclaim going on. And more dirt bags getting killed by Flipstep's bandits. Radavadra forced to retreat, and... Like I said, this is just what will happen. I don't know why he's going for this many dirtbags. The dirtbags did have 50 damage on their headbutt attack for a short while, but that was a very short while, which is no longer the case. It was like one patch they had that, and it was changed about two days later, a day or two later. And their headbutt is now 20. This is on the, I think the second to latest version. Latest version, I think their headbutt may still be 20, but I'm not sure offhand. However, the important thing is that they aren't especially powerful units. And down goes a Convict. Radovadra loses a Convict and yet another Dirtbag. I mean, the one consolation I suppose is that Dirtbags are cheap. But even a 30 medley, you don't want to be throwing that away. That's that's still... Well, okay, that's still half a Bandit. But you could do a lot with, well, sacrificing two Dirtbags to become one Bandit. A lot more than you have with two Dirtbags, that's for sure. Especially this stage in the game. I don't know, maybe he's trying to block the- he's not trying to block the factory again. I mean, his attempt to block the factory was really futile. Just because the commander was right there. Terraforming at down was easy. And it looks like Flipstep finding yet another dirtbag. I mean, Radovadra, he is at least scouting with the dirtbags, which is good to see. He has a dirtbag over in the northwest. None over in the southeast, surprisingly enough. And some in the center, so he is at least keeping his information up. I will give him that. That's actually a really good thing to do. I do wish players would scout more often, but at the same time... Radar's kind of there for a reason. Actually, Flipstep just... He has radar on his commander, but no static radar on the field. Both players are relying very heavily on line of sight. And while Radovadra is scouting more with cheaper units, he's not really doing a whole lot of raiding damage. He's not really taking full advantage of the scouting. And Flipstep just has a larger army now. He coming, he's coming with the bandits along the side, flanking Radovadra's bandit line and destroying... Well, actually, they destroyed pretty heavily. Wow, he's actually lost a couple bandits for... Well, very nearly lost two bandits for the price of one. Yeah, he has. Okay, two for two. But still, that was not as good as Flipstep would have liked, I'm sure. And Radovadra basically dirtbag sma slamming this convict. 
which will eventually work. No, it's not going to work. This Lotus stops it. Radavadra's commander moving in to deal with that convict and take the south, the northwest. The southeast has been scattered by Radavadra, so he knows that Flipstrip's commander is about to go there and destroy his dirt bag. But really, Radavadra does not have map control. He does not have a They do not have economy. I keep forgetting to do that. Flips. Radavadra does not have economy. Flipstep, however, does. Flipstep's got about, well, double the metal. Same for energy, but double the metal production of Radavadra. A lot of that being reclaim, but still. Flipstep does have a lot of reclaim for him. And Flipstep's commander. Well, has free reign over the southeast. Taking another dirt bag. Radavadra now fully aware that something is being built up there, but still can't do much about it. Yeah, he is just now trying to produce more and more bandits. Radavadra has just lost pretty much all map control, taking the northwest finally, but even then, he's lost most of map control. Six bandits coming for Radavadra. This is pretty much a last ditch effort. Try to get back some map control. Try to push Flipstep back, basically. Oh, did, did Radavadra. I think the commander's on wait or something. That is really weird. But anyway, it looks like that's not going to do much. Bandits coming in here. Getting rid of a Lotus, that's good. If another set of bandits comes in, we'll actually be fairly effective. But this set of bandits. Oh, going to get rid of the caretaker. Are they going to kill the caretaker in time? No, they're not going to kill the caretaker. That was close, but unfortunately for Radavadra, that bandit did not do its job fully. Caretaker's still around, and Flipstep still has their production at full. Although Radavatra has now gotten a bit of reclaim. Actually, no, got an extra metal extractor as well. Flipstep's commander is stuck. Possibly stuck because of the, I think it's stuck because of the dirt bag. And Flipstep hasn't really noticed. But at the same time, Flipstep does have most of their bandits inside of Radavatra's base, or very close to. Radavatra kind of sort of has the north. Flipstep really strongly has the south. I think Radavadra may oh, go for outlaws. Right? I was going to say, I think he might go for some riot units, which would be a good idea. He has one outlaw. Going for another. An outlaw speed buff will help. There has been a speed buff to outlaws fairly recently, alongside the dirtbag change as well. So outlaws should be somewhat effective in this case. Don't deal a whole lot of damage still, but at least they are going to be speedy enough that they can get to the bandits relatively well. Bandits still are faster, like 3 to 1.9. It's a small speed diff- it's a speed buff, it's not the biggest speed buff, but it does seem promising. We'll see how it works out though, this outlaw, able to mostly get out of the bandits, but not perfectly. Better than used to though, gotta say, it is a lot- is a lot better. Felon now coming in, no thug support, looks like he's gonna go for Felon, maybe Felon Convict, just solo Felon. I can't see why you'd go solo Felon, but that might be what he's trying to do. And Radavadra, taking the high ground, should be- able to take out some of Flipstep's bandits in the center, but Flipstep getting more of his own bandits, getting thugs now. He can more easily switch to Felon. Unlike Radavadra, Radavadra does have this Felon very nearly done. 15 seconds left to construct that Felon, but no thugs, only one convict so far. Radavadra does have this northwest side pretty well taken though, and now Flipstep's finally gotten rid of that. Yeah, I see that's what it's, his foot was caught, or its foot was caught. Commander's foot was caught. But gotten out of that, so Flipstep now is the southeast, and once again has a massive economic advantage, in large part due to reclaim, but also due to overdrive from the looks of it. Yeah, overdrive to. Huh, wait, what's the base metal on this? 1.6? No, this isn't overdriven at all. Never mind, Flipstep doesn't have much overdrive yet. Might have had some earlier. Radavadra, on the other hand, has quite a lot. Okay, maybe not quite a lot so far. It's 25% so far, but. Getting a geothermal plant in the middle of all this, that'll help quite a lot. That should get him to about double. Probably double for each max, I would think. 35 power on top of currently 10, so that's 45 power in this whole area. I think that's enough to double it for each metal. Just slightly more than double, actually. And Flipstep going for the same thing, although it doesn't have as many... They don't have as many solar collectors on the... Okay, I'm pretty sure Flipstep actually is male. But they don't have as many solar collectors on the in the base as Radavadra does, and Radavadra, there we go, he's got it set up, and not quite double. Pretty close, but not quite. Oh, it's 25 power, okay, that's why, I forgot, the Geothermal Plant has 25 power, not 35 power. What a 
it was 20, 35. Strange. Hmm. Oh, well, anyway. 25 power, so that still works out. And Flipstiff's band is coming along the north ridge. While Radavadra is setting its... And shutting their sights down to the south. And a felon is up for... This is Radavadra's felon. Getting him into the thugs, but... This is where he really needed other shield support. I don't know why Radavadra did not go for more shield support. Now finally getting thugs. Won't be enough, though. And Flipstiff going for the kill. I think Radavadra has about... Two minutes left. The only thing right after has really going for them is this northwest base. That's about it. Main base, however, has oh nice roach kill. That was a roach kill for right after. He has got they've got a couple more roaches. Tell me what your gender is. Ag. Sorry, I don't want to assume that the players are male because I have at least with Akron casted against the female players. And I don't want to assume, but I am pretty sure that right after and Flipstiff are both male. Regardless, they got to keep that up. Gotta get in the habit. Anyway, Radvatra is moving forward with more outlaws and thugs. Not a bad setup. And another Roach comes in here, but doesn't really do much, unfortunately. It, nah, doesn't do really anything. Bit of a waste, unfortunately. Was just out of range. Probably was trying to get to this thug... Well, giant thug ball. Well, thug road ball now. Didn't successfully do that, though, unfortunately. Which means it is going to have to be... Well, just a crater in the ground. That's about it. Not much more to be said about that. That roach is dead. More roaches will take its place, though. One problem with being a suicide explosion unit is that after you attack, you're kind of dead. Can't really do anything else. Get one shot and that's it, but no more roaches coming up. Said you just have more outlaws coming, cresting the hill pretty well, slowing down these rogues nicely for the thugs to tear them apart. And that will... That'll help quite a lot, actually. Getting rid of a few rogues. These thugs. Thug outlaw? Wow, we're back to thug law. Never thought I'd see this again, but yes, we are in fact back, at least in part, to thug law. With Radavadra, at least. Nowhere near as powerful as it used to be, just because of the fact that outlaws do not deal as much damage as they used to, but still, with the speed buff, I mean, thugs have, yeah, 1.9 speed, so they match with the thugs now. So thugs and outlaws can work together for great explosions. However, northwest side of the map, Radavadra has lost everything in the northwest side of the map, I think including his commander. Or has he? Nope, Radavadra's commander is safe. Radavadra's northwest base, however, is not, and flips up as a massive economic advantage. Radavadra, this is his last shot, really. If he gets rid of the felon, it'll be fairly effective, but I don't think he's going to do that. Thuglaw for both players, and although Thuglaw felon with rogue support for flipstip. This will not end well for Radavadra, I'm afraid. Or at least it doesn't look like he's going to. One thing Clipstip has going for him is that the felons are not together. Actually, the felon, main, main felon thug ball is over to the northwest, taking out that base. And the thug felon, sorry, thug law ball over here can, if it attacks the northwest, get rid of the felon, but it's not going for it. In fact, moving back, looks like he's trying to move back to regenerate shields. Another set of thugs and an outlaw coming in, but not really enough. Radavadra only with seven metal, he can't actually do much. And Flipstep has the game. It's pretty clear that Flipstep has this game in the bag. Has the southeast as well. But getting a gunship plant over in the southeast. Yeah, Flipstep has the game. Not much more to be said about that. Radavadra might try to destroy Flipstep's main base, but at this point, the, the felon has even moved back. I think this felon. Felon the bug ball looks like it's probably going to go over to the northeast, just take out Radavadra's base directly. Well, Radavadra. Trying to get through these rogues, but unfortunately not being able to hit them with the outlaw to slow them down. The rogues are faster just slightly, but they are still faster than thugs. So unfortunately, those thugs have no chance, and neither is Radavadra. He realizes this and th surrenders. And I yeah, that's a bug. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That's going to be first game for today. Another one for you guys in just a moment, which will be a game between a couple newer players, Seizdrum and Yakubium on... Rapids. Be back with that in just a moment, so stay tuned.